Howdy folks, Mikey McKernan here, aka the Boo Ha Man, aka Is Not Funny. Today, Wednesday, October 27th, 2021. Shout out Nixon. I am currently in a parking lot at Best Buy because I had to buy some more memory card. Today is day seventh of seven days in a row of doing the stand-up spots and filming the vlogs. Next two days I got off which is good, because I have to edit. Last night we had a really fun show in Los Alamos, this barn. It was great. I love doing the road shows. Tonight, I have a show in San Diego, California at Pali Wine Company. It's in the little Italy. I'm excited. The guy who puts on the show always puts on a pretty good show. San Diego is always a lot of fun because it's crowds compared to Los Angeles where there is no crowds. You'll find crowds there, but everybody's in the industry. So San Diego is a very good place to get out of town and go find some crowds. But before we go to that gig, we're gonna make a little fun stop. I'm gonna go check out the battle site of San Pasqual. That has a lot to do with the Mexican-American War for all you history buffs. So I've never been there, we're gonna go check it out. Maybe find some plaques, some statues. I know it's hiking trail. The sun's already blazing, I'm already sweating. I'm asking you to come along. Let's learn some stuff, I guess. And then let's go giggle later. All right, we made it to the San Pasqual battlefield site. Unfortunately, closed. Bummer. It did say the trails were open, but the parking lot's closed. Can't leave the old car just sitting there. I'm gonna go see if I can find somewhere to park. There was something along the road when I drove by, I saw some plaques, but this area, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I am currently walking on the side of the road because I left my car to go walk to a park that is closed. The website said the trails were open, but the parking is closed. Doesn't mean I'm trespassing. This is all about being unprepared for adventures. That's okay though. That's what's fun about the adventures is your unpreparedness. There was another car where I left my car, so hopefully it's safe. They're both safe. I'm just gonna go peek around a little bit, see if there's any more statues I can look at. Saw some plaques on the website that I wanna capture. I live really close to a place called Capo de Cuenca. Gonna check that out eventually too. California history, it's really good. As I'm getting closer to my destination, I'm freaking out a little bit more about my car. Still have to get to the gig tonight. It would be very unfortunate if I showed up in the Great Clips Mobile. Was missing. San Pasqual, the state of California honors with this monument the American soldiers who, under the leadership of Brigade General Stephen W. Kearney, Captain Abraham R. Johnson, Captain Benjamin D. Mord, Edward F. Beale, USN, and Kit Carson the Scout gave their lives in the battles of San Pasqual between the Americans and Mexicans, December 6th through the 10th, 1846. Wow, this monument was erected and dedicated in the year 1925. So what's really funny about the Battle of San Pasqual is it's part of the Mexican-American War. It's how the United States got California from Mexico. Stephen W. Kearney came here to fight Andres Pico. But what's really funny about this battle is that they actually both thought they won. They both thought they won and they went back to tell their generals and their leaders that, yeah, we got it. We did it. I read most of this information in this book, Bear Flag Rising by Dale Walker. If you like your California Mexican-American history, I was recommended this book by an older gentleman at the one of my favorite coffee shops I sit at. Another plaque. This was in 1993. Originally marked by the Daughters of the American Revolution of California. All right, I hiked up here. Yes, sweaty. Just walking around, checking it out. See, it's funny because in 1846, California was still part of Mexico. But it has everything to do with that manifest destiny. They say it was one of the bloodiest battles ever fought between the two. Amphitheater, should I go up here and do a couple minutes? Hi, it's uh, really great to sweat here today. So happy I get to perform at a very historical, historical park site for California history. I'm from California. A lot of people don't believe me, it's because I'm so pale. That was dumb. This, something else.
an incident of the Mexican War. The army sent from Santa Fe to occupy California was met and defeated by the Mexicans at San Pascual. The American forces were driven upon a butte in the desert on which there was no water and they were surrounded by the Mexican forces. Edward F. Beale and Kit Carson, both famous explorers of the West, volunteered to get through the Mexican lines and get reinforcements from Stockton's fleet at San Diego. They succeeded in crawling past three cordons of Mexican sentries in the night and by hiding in ravines in the day and traveling by night they reached Stockton's fleet after enduring great hardships. These two guys right here. Kit Carson. He's one of my favorite guys. Fur trapper. Scout. Still kill all the Indians though. Trails close beyond this point. Feels really good to learn some of California history. I read a lot. Mostly novels and fiction. I like stories because I'm not a very good storyteller. Never really got into history, and then until recently, I've gotten into a lot of history. Mostly Old West, 1800s, the American frontier, expansion of the West. It's also very interesting to me. I'm learning. I'm reading all this stuff. We're gonna explore just a little more over this building. If anybody kicks us out, we will leave. There's no trespassing. Plus, I just realized the gate is a lot farther than I thought it was for where I'm at. We're gonna keep exploring just for a little longer. Oh, here's another black. This looks like a good picture spot, but there's, there's, uh, there's nothing to take pictures of. Yes. An historic battle. California's bloodiest skirmish of the Mexican-American War was fought in the valley below in the pre-dawn darkness of December 6, 1846. It was here that General S.W. Kearney led state soldiers against Captain A. Pico's Californios in the Battle of San Pasquale. Although the U.S. lost most, more soldiers, both sides claimed victory. Kumimeya, oral traditions say American losses would have been greater without their help. Home of the Kumimeya. For thousands of years, the Kumimeya ancestors of the San Pasquale Band of Mission Indians lived in this region. Significant sites on the landscape help, held importance for them and were featured in legends and stories today. Several hundred Kumimeya still live in, live in and near their ancestral homeland. Although exact location is unknown, this is the route most likely taken by Kearney's troops. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I do apologize. This is why I'm reading. This is why I'm learning more history to get smarter. Right there, that's where the battlefield was. This little map graph right here shows it down that hill right there. Do 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 do. Wow, under this tree, they planned the battle. I want to read these books about it. Museum closed. Coyote. Look at the little fake snake up there too. I'm scared of snakes. All right, that's it, that's cool. Didn't check it out as much. There's a museum to check out, obviously. That looks pretty cool, we'll have to do that. It's open on Sundays. I'm gonna have to get booked on Sundays in San Diego. So I can come back here again and check it out. Time to go do the gig. Time to do the gig. Everybody coming around the bend. Let's see if the car's still there. I'm anxious, I'm anxious. It's still there, we're good. That little car right there. A lot of comedians ask me, Mikey, why are you driving this car around? I'm trying to promote. I'm trying to tell comedians what to do online. Post great clips. No, it's a pretty cool area around here. When I'm driving over to the park to check it out, I notice there's a lot of dirt farms. People are farming dirt. Do I have a favorite historical American figure? Yes, it's Kit Carson. If you don't know Kit Carson, he was American frontiersman, fur trapper, a wilderness guide, Indian agent, and he's a U.S. Army officer. He became a frontier legend by biographies and news articles, and exaggerated versions of his exploits were like the subject of all the dime novels back in the day. And what's funny about that story is that Kit Carson's actually very illiterate, so he he couldn't read his stories. He's very interesting. I like him because he helped kind of blaze, you know, the West when Manifest Destiny was happening. Kit Carson was one of the ones to go out there. A wilderness guide. As much as he was an Indian agent, there was some help towards some Native Americans, but he still killed a lot of Native Americans. It's complicated. U.S. American history is very, very complicated, but I'm trying to learn. This is what I'm all about. I I come to this park, it's really cute. It's got a skate park. It's a soccer field, but it's got boards. It looks like a hockey rink. It's a, it's a soccer rink. And they got a lot of Frisbee golf. Thought I'd just stop by. A little reminisce about Kit Carson. It all started with uh, Blood and Thunder by Hampton Sides. That was a book I read. That got me interested into the fur trapper. Kit Carson resided in Taos, New Mexico. There's a museum there, there's a Kit Carson house. I wanna go there and bring you. So much Santa Fe history as well. Like I said, the Old West, the American frontier, Manifest Destiny. All that time period is so interesting and I really like it. And it's fun as an American to learn all that stuff, but it gets depressing real quick. I've been doing a bunch of reading on the Native Americans as well for myself because there's so much history to learn. 
I'm getting older in my in my years. I feel that it's important to learn all your history. If you guys have any recommendations for books I need to read, check this out. This is the Kit Carson Amphitheater. Now, if I can perform at a Kit Carson Amphitheater, that would be cool. Cool amphitheater, huh? Yeah, I would love to come bomb here for sure. I'm at Queen Khalifa's Magical Circle. You can't see it. It's closed. I don't know if you can see, but there's some cool stuff in there. I should have got here earlier. It's closed. Looks rad, huh? That looks cool in there. We'll have to come back another day. I'm always down for free art. Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays before noon. Okay, so now I gotta get booked Sundays so I can go to San Pasqual. All right, so next Tuesday or Thursday gig, I gotta make sure I get here early and come check out this Queen Khalifa's Magical Garden. I love it, so much art. Let's get to the gig, I'm running late. Ooh-wee, this place is fancy. We're in Little Italy, San Diego. Little Italy, it's really cute out here. Molto bene. Mi dispiace, uno palo italiano. All right, all right. Wine bar? Usually it's a little classy. When you think about wine bar, if you're gonna perform, do I want to be like sophisticated, like classy, like refined? But sometimes, you know what, the audience, they, uh, they are not. <laughs> wine bars, for some reason to me, have become extremely more popular in our day and age. Oh, look, we got a mural right here. Fine wine, good times. We shall see, we shall see. Oh, look at this. Right next to the gig, they have a little preserved gas station. Looks like it's a little restaurant. Blue Box Butcher, this is a, so adorable. It's a little young in there, so that's good. I'm always excited when it's a younger crowd. They'll understand more of the silly that I do compared to the older, older sophisticated crowd. I'm looking forward to the gig, it's filling up. When I was walking in, they were turning people away. That's always good. Really nice place, outdoor back patio. It's gonna be really nice, they're gonna get some funny. Steak me home tonight. Comedy. Yeah, Shout out to my friends who said they were going to be here tonight. Uh, your first comic, a very, very silly guy. Please give it up for Mikey McKernan. Yeah. Thank you. Give it up for the back table in the corner over there for my friends who said they were going to be here tonight. Good to see you. <laughs> Folks are clapping to nobody. <laughs> They're not wearing invisibility cloaks. They live in PB. They're from Los Angeles. They said they're going to be here tonight, but I guess you still can't spell flake without LA. <laughs> How many people here watched virtual comedy last year? Cash, you're the loudest one clapping, you're a comedian, you don't count, I'm sorry. I couldn't do online comedy because of bad connection. I'm not talking about internet, Zoom, ha, ha. I should have did comedy online because I'm used to crowds being on mute. I like going to airports and being single because I, I feel like they're looking out for my sex life. Please report any unattended packages. Never realized airports are the best wingman. Boo! Ha! Ha! Uh, bucket, the stripper bucket, sorry. Uh, at the back that's lighting up as well. If you haven't closed your tap. Thanks for coming out, yeah. Thank you. That's it. That was fun. Yeah. Hey, Bob, I'll meet you over there. Oh, what about that? He's here if you want. Thank you. You're hilarious. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. You're We love your show. Thanks, brother. I appreciate that. Thank you. Take a sticker, please.
Really fun show tonight at Pally Wine with my boy, my host, Cash. How's it going, guys? Cash, how was the show, man? Packed house. What do you think? It was great, man. Thank you for so much having me, dude. It was packed. They were a fun room. There was like some rowdy crowd, but it was, no, well, there was just one table that sucked, but it was fun. <laughs> How'd you feel about the show? Oh, no, I love it. Packed house at Poly Wine Company. Great lineup. We had Mikey killed, as always. Stop it. Come no. on. You always do. It's always fun talking to local comics, you know, try to get like a vibe of what the scene's like out here. I like your one joke you did up front too as well. You are talking about your, your family or your kids, right? I should have said, um, my name is Cash and I'm actually gonna be your host tonight. Um, my friends call me Cash. Yeah, my daughter actually calls me Venmo. <laughs> because I produce and host the show every week, and I do, I usually start off with like, you know, my name is Cash, my friends call me Cash, my daughter calls me Venmo. Name jokes. Yeah, name jokes. I'm gonna jokes. put that joke in yeah. there. You don't even have to say the joke again, but see, that's what's funny about <laughs> comics. We're gonna make sure you get the joke again. It's uh, good like up front too, it's kind of like just give, not, I, don't, I wouldn't call it a generic joke, but it's like an easy joke for the audience to just get on board with you. It's like, oh. my name's Cash, here's a joke about that, let's roll, right? Oh, I mean, of course. If you can come out with a generic joke, if they don't laugh at that, you might as well just leave the mic in the stand and walk yeah. away, because it's like, not the right crowd for them. And of course, true comics are like, you guys doing generic jokes, you hacks. All right, just chill out, so. No, it's a generic joke for me. It's with my name. Who else is doing a Cash joke? Well, I always say too, it's like, no matter what, when you do real audiences, you gotta do certain jokes that it's so easy for the audience to connect with. So name jokes up to I got a name joke I'm not defending it so anyways thanks for talking to us you can uh, plug your stuff where can we find you uh, you can find me on Instagram main place where you can see all my comedy my shows around San Diego cash comedy cash with a K underscore comedy with a K very very easy to find I follow him thanks again man appreciate you Thank you so much, folks, for watching, for clicking, for liking, for commenting, and most of all, subscribing. Please, if you want to follow me on Instagram, link down below. Merchandise, link down below. My website with dates, link down below. PayPal for donations, link down below. Thank you again so much for watching this whole video. One love.